Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 where I am testing a newer version of the X-15 that I previously introduced. Uh, this now has the engine built into the body and not a separate part so that seemed like the best solution uh, given the fact that the engine is completely tucked into the body and not much of it is showing and so the mass is added to the mass of the body as well. Uh, and all the stats are the same as the engine that we had previously and those are the realism overhaul stats. I have as you can see added the external fuel tanks they don't have a separate decoupler their decoupler is built into them and so that is that. I have tilted the horizontal stabilizers and um, the fuel is now 80 seconds worth inside the body and then there's also the fuel on the external fuel tank and of course we have a pylon so the pylon will not come with the X-15 hopefully, but we will test everything out. The uh, adjustable landing gear is still acting up on the B-52. The problem is the B-52 wheels are sort of like this, but they're really small compared to the size of the body. Uh, so they look like this, but as far as adjustable landing gear is concerned, um, they're too small and they do not provide enough uh, support for the large body of the B-52. So yeah, but I think um, some minor adjusting could help with that, but right now they keep twitching out and saying that they're broken. But anyway, that's not what we are testing right now. So let's get the engines going. And hopefully our X-15 plume will be good. Uh, we still do have the <laughs> issue with the B-52 initially needing wheel steering in order to control it. Whoa, a hop, oh no. Uh, Edward's runway, a little bit troublesome. Okay, well, here we go again. Okay, carefully tilting up. Uh, come on. All right, well, just enough runway. Yeah, it's unfortunate about the B-52's engine sounds. I still have to figure out why that is. Well, this time we have more fuel, but we don't really want to go any higher. We saw that the G-forces last time were a bit iffy, as it was. So we're probably going to just go for speed this time. Okay, turning around so that the X-15 will be pointed back at Edwards when it uh, is dropped off. All right, well, that's good enough for me. Controlling from there and getting ready. Let's see if the pylon works. Okay, separation. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I was ready on there. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm having trouble pitching up right now. What happened? I thought that we had that fix with the... Maybe the external tanks are too much. Okay, I'm gonna dump the external tanks. Okay, now we're able to pull up. Um, okay, so that's an interesting fact. The external tanks seem to be too far forward. But I think you'll agree that the plume is better. It's actually an ammonia lox plume. Now for high speed stuff, it was meant to go about 30 kilometers in altitude. We'll try that. I don't know what that decoupling sound was. Well, as expected, without the external fuel tanks, we don't do the speediness very well. We get about Mach 4.5, 4.6. To actually get the speed record, we have to have the external tank fuel. Okay, but we'll have to... I, I think I'll just revert this. I've sort of landed it before. I think what I want to do is shift the external tanks back a bit and then try again. Oh wow, we way overshot 
uh, Edwards. Well, speedy is speedy. Actually, what I'll do is I'll shift the center of mass of the external tanks. I think they're a bit forward anyway. I don't know whether they put the oxygen in front or the ammonia in front. And I actually don't know exactly how much oxygen and ammonia they actually carried in the external tanks. Um, I just estimated it based on the volume. So I assume they didn't have like a tremendous amount of spare volume in there. It says about 90% utilization there. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shift the center of mass of the external tanks and see how that might help us. Also, it occurs to me that I didn't really adjust the center of mass of the X-15 body after building in the engine into it. Uh, technically, that would make a difference. Alright, here we go again. I've increased the size of the landing gear for the B-52 a little bit, as much as I can. But it still has some issues. All right, we are off. Okay, well, turning back around, we're probably not going to land at Edwards because we're going to be going fast and I have no idea where the X-15 actually is going to end up when it's just going horizontally very fast, so. That will depend. This is the first test of that situation with the drop tanks. Okay, well, we'll try control from here. And, well, uh, let's see how it goes. Separation. Okay, no, that was actually him. Okay, RCS and ignition. Uh, uh. Okay, okay, come on, you can do it. A little bit tough during transonic region, but we are slowly going up. It's more of a going very fast X-15. And in fact, I think they were they put a ramjet on it at one point up near the tail. Oh, oh, uh, these were supposed to be high priority. Oh shoot. All right. Uh, yeah, I thought I had it set to the correct priority. I had this at zero. I thought. But, alright, well, we'll have to rearrange that a bit. Okay, we lost some off go to drop tanks. They didn't kill anything. That's the important part. And Mach, what exactly? Four. We probably want to flatten out here. Whoa, control isn't great. Uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, it's going down on its own. Uh, okay, well, we're going uh, Mach 6.5, but ooh, its ability to control is not great at this speed. <laughs> but, but we didn't completely lose control. We just, uh, it, it got worrisome, that's all. We are not slowing down very quickly because we're pretty high up. They only went uh, this fast at like 30 kilometers or so, so. Okay, where are we? Well, we definitely overshot Edwards, no big surprise. Uh, could have possibly ended up at Nellis if we uh, had a Nellis right now. Okay, well, heating effects. I think we should pitch up because we're going faster here. We could probably skip glide a little bit. It is a dart, so it doesn't get that much drag. Might make it all the way to Area 51. 
Okay, after the pop-up, going back down again and getting below Mach 5 here. Well, just under Mach 4 now. And yeah, we sure got a ways. I mean, we basically separated from the B-52 at the coast. Uh, I think we've passed Area 51. We're approaching the Great Salt Lake there. Well, the northern end of it, anyway. It'd have been funny if we had landed in the Bonneville Salt Flats. Setting a different kind of speed record, of course. Okay, we are now below Mach 1. I don't think the RCS is doing anything important right now, so that's off. Plenty of HTP for anything you're bound to do with this. Uh, I think it's a little bit flatter on the right hand side there. Okay. Well. Getting rid of ventral fin. Gear down. The uh, little air brakes don't actually do anything right now, unfortunately. They are colliders that extend out, but... Okay, now we're going to have to wait a little bit to see when the pitch encourages us to finally sit down. Okay, well, a bit of a hill here. I hope it doesn't go too far on it. We see our shadow. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh, we lost the wing. Uh, it's tough with these skids. I thought about making the colliders bigger on them, uh, bigger than they are. Right now the collider is exactly the size of this skid base, but I could sort of fudge it and make it wider, and that might make it a little bit safer. But okay, well, we have our test done. And the decoupling worked, the external tanks, uh, we'll have to remember to set priority next time. Uh, but they worked as far as separating off cleanly. And the engine built in works, we have a nice plume. So the important bits are fine, it's just, you know, we have to land it properly. Uh, so I am going to put it into the airplane pack and uh, with the B-52, which is already there. Uh, I probably should spruce up the B-52 a bit, it doesn't look great. But anyway, I will link that in the video description and you guys can play around with it. So with that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will see you next time.